My name is Peter Williams. I was born in Bethel. My Williams family is from Akiak. But my mother's family, the Roths, are based in Sika. I was raised in Sika and I've been there since I've been little. I use the seal and sea otters in hand skin sewing. They're from animals that I hunt myself. And I feel that my art is the entire process of asking those animals for their life doing Yupik ritual to give thanks and respect to those animals and processing the hides and sewing them and making garments out of them. And so I feel that my art is having a connected and respectful and spiritual relationship with marine mammals. So teaching um, what in Alaska is called the trapper hat, um, Molokai is another, it's like what Yupik refers <laughs> refers to that style. There was enough funding to make an entire fur outer cover out of beaver and then also like the ear flaps, um, which is a significant amount of fur. So it was nice to be able to do that. You can squeeze three patterns on each one is what you want to do. Because you're going to be making two patterns of this, one of here, two of the covers, one of here. And then if you leave this two for this part later. Once you're ready, you can grab a pen and and draw around them. And then check in with me before you cut them. All right. All right. I think it's important to keep in mind that these were living beings and they had a family and they had a life and emotion and spirit and now they're in our lives and becoming a part of us and we're creating with them and just becoming closer together. Um, in general, respect is important. I'm glad that I have that opportunity. Like with the beaver that we're working with, to have dialogues about respect. It was as rare that I'm working with an animal that I haven't personally asked for its life and that I haven't had that connection with. I learned by what, what the Western world would call self-taught. I read books and I would talk to people who I would deem as experts, um, both in the hunting aspect and tanning aspect, like how to take care of an animal. Um, and then sewing, talk to native, um, craftspeople and then I talk to non-native furriers, reading books and experimentation. Cut towards yourself, like if you're going to cut here, I would rotate the pelt, I would hold it up like this and I would cut it this way. Okay. Being able to talk a bit about what it means to me and why I do it, I feel, is, is also the work. I really appreciate being able to hand sew. I really like the cathartic nature of sewing fur by hand. So to make an anchor, the same thing I'm gonna do, I'm wrapping this thread around the needle. I'm gonna hold that wrap. I'm gonna pull it through. It's been great to you to see students really enjoying that. And we had an option kind of for time-wise to use sewing machines for the fabric and the hat. The, uh, the liner inside the hat is uh, of non-fur material. You can use a regular fabric sewing machine for the liner. Um, and students have elected to sew that by hand. So it's sewn for the fur? Yeah, for the fur, yeah. And then sewing a little bit here and a little bit here is going to spread out tension. And so what I get out of teaching is that, that I'm just becoming more <laughs> one with everything. And so as, as what could be considered a cultural bearer, I'm making that culture still relevant and being celebrated and practiced today is a huge gift that I, that I get. You know, it's a gift that I'm giving, but it's a gift to give it, to, to help keep that alive, to help keep these traditions and practices that are so much at the core of my culture. To see that being received and, and celebrated and practiced by other people, like, that's huge.